Okay, here's my board here. I just got set up in my new room, and I'm really having a hard time with lighting and whatnot. So, um, here is the cap that I was painting while I was blubbering and stuff. But I had it hooked on here with a bead. Hopefully you can see that. I had beads to, um, to, because the center's not tall enough to, for the cap to reach. So, um, it didn't work obviously because both of them fell off. I had two. And, um, so now I have to redo one. Um, well, I try to re-glue the other. Um, but you know what? Never give up. Just keep going. That's what I'm going to do. Try to get my E6000 open. It's not always easy. And I got trigger finger. And this thumb. Oh my god, it's so bad. Since Christmas. This is March 8th or 9th. I don't even know. So. Always know that I need a toothpick. Oh, here they are. I just rearranged this. Just set up the room. And then last night I uh, rearranged some stuff to fit a... It's actually an old computer of mine down here because I bought a new webcam that won't work on my Chromebook. So it works beautifully on my PC upstairs. But it won't work on my on my um, Chromebook at all. So I downloaded an app and got it to work one time. I got one video out of it. And then now all it'll do is take a screenshot. <coughs> Excuse me. So I tell it that I want it to record. And it records a screenshot. Now... How many times in your life do you need to record a still picture? So, I didn't realize it was recording. And I had like 10 minutes of the, the screen. And that's about it. Okay, so E6000. I have to paint a new one here because I couldn't find the other one that fell off. But this is my, this is my, um, my barn wood. And if you can read it. Be like a sunflower, bright, sunny, stand tall, and always spread seeds of happiness. Um, I wrote that. I don't know where it came from originally. Um, I've seen different versions of it. But I like the way this one is. And I have the videos of making the sunflowers, which I think turned out really well. Um, so anyways, this is uh, my um, board here. What I'm going to do, since I do have my saw set up now, is I'm going to figure out a spot. Maybe put another sunflower here, and then maybe cut it off down here. Because you see it's got a, a whacked up edge on it. So anyway, this this is my, my not my end result. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put some kind of a border on it. Or, you know, what I'm going to do. But I think it'll make a really nice um, picture on the wall. Um, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. And um, I'll take a picture of the end result. And that'll be the beginning of this video. So you'll see what it looks like completely finished. Thank you. Okay. I decided to just go ahead and paint it here. I got a, looks like a Coors Light. Um, I don't drink. I got these from a, a friend who lives out back. Um, he uh, saved me some up. So what I did on the original um, caps was uh, trying to make sure I can see where uh, you can see what I'm doing here. So I have a chair set up with a tote on top because I don't have enough light over there. I haven't got my um, 
my lamp set up yet. So anyways, I took and I um, bowed this out a little. All the way around. Not hard. It's not that time consuming, but it does. It does make it a uh, flat -er, so um, that's why it needs to have a something. I used um, wooden beads, but that's why it needs to have something there to to glue it to because you took out some of the height. But that's all right because um, it looks. I think it looks better. This one's got the E6000. I just don't know. Yeah, it's going to stick. Okay, sorry. I shouldn't have done that. But, yeah, I don't want to wait a day just to find out that it didn't stick at all um, because I didn't have enough height. So I'd rather do that, I guess, now. I am not a very patient person when it comes to things like that. So I'm going to move this down so I don't get paint on it. <clears throat> Excuse me for coughing. I don't have, I'm not sick. Um, I smoke. Much info as we have now on this stuff and I still do it. So I guess being smart's never been my, uh, I'm Got my camera, or my, it's actually my phone. I found out from the other videos that my phone actually takes pretty good pictures. Now, these little containers come from the Dollar Tree. I have no complaints. Um, they, they don't leak. Oh, I, I've had one. One that leaked um, a little bit, and I think I could have just not had the, had the top snap down on it. It's, you know, the cap snap on. Like, um... You know, name brand thing that we've all heard of our whole lives. That starts with a T and is so expensive. Which I would love to have. I would love to have a whole set of Tupperware. Tupperware is awesome. But I don't. I can't afford it. So, maybe someday. Whoops. My, my, my unsteady tote underneath me sitting on a tall kitchen chair or a dining room chair I mean so anyway yeah I put the brown on there I left my my hair dryer upstairs so I can't I can't dry it because uh that would have been too smart to have brought it down here ha huh. I get hard on myself sometimes this one is a reddish brown some kind of a uh auburn is that what they call that color Auburn, or, I don't know, sunset, something. So I'm just going to dab it around here, make it look like little seeds. Um, I wonder how well you can see that. Can I bring it out a little? No, because I got a stupid piece of tape on it. Oh, well, please bear with me, and I'm sorry. I'm uh, more interested in talking most of the time than I am actually... So it's really hard to do this without touching it and taking the, the paint off of it. But anyways, my goal is a uh, reddish brown. And then in the, you know, the final parts of it, I'm going to add some uh, black. Because if you look at a real sunflower, you'll see it gets really dark. And I am not cleaning my brush in between because it's all I want it all mixed so it's not going to matter if it's mixed on my brush too my phone has a really bad habit of cutting out in the middle of videos so if you see me acting weird trying to look up it's that's why I'm trying to see if it's still recording but I have this wonderful these haven't been opened I haven't crafted for two whole months two whole months because of Christmas we had everything piled in the uh, craft room upstairs so we could put the tree up you know mainly because we have granddaughters take a scoop of that uh, we have granddaughters and uh, you know we're not gonna not have a Christmas tree after um, losing two of my children I don't like Christmas 
I don't like Thanksgiving. I mean, I don't want to cry, but how freaking hard is it to gather your whole family together and know that you're missing people forever? I mean, absolutely forever. They're not coming back. And it hurts so bad, you know. Other people were um, buying birthday cakes or, you know, um, I don't know what you get your kids for Christmas or my birthday. I mean, what you get your kids for your birth their birthdays as you get older. But um, it was a month after Rodney's birthday and I was buying him a casket and um, Christian, who we had, we had cremated, um, just, we didn't have any money. His dad and I, you know, we split everything. We, we worked together on it. We've not had much animosity between us, um, you know, especially in the later years as Christian became a teenager and we realized that, you know, sometimes and what kids do, he told us both stories about the other one to, uh, I don't know if it was to get attention or just, you know, whatever a kid would do that for. But he told me bad stuff about his dad. And then I found out he told his dad bad stuff about me. Um, you know, one specifically that I remember not to, you know, drag him through the mud. He was, he was 11, 10 or 11 years old. He told his dad that my oldest son, Sean, and I smoked pot with him and uh, uh, when JR told me that I couldn't believe it because I don't smoke I don't smoke pot since I was 18 years old literally uh, literally have taken a handful of puffs from joints since I was 18 years old and um, I just couldn't believe that he said that. And I thought, man, I thought you were my buddy, you know. But kids are just dumb. Sorry. I don't know what you call them. But why do I have a black spot up there? Oh, it's just a freaking shadow. Jeepers. Anyway, yeah, so I don't have water down here. I don't have um, any kind of... I, ha I have a drain, but we don't dare put too much water down in there because of tree roots. But I don't have running water down here in the basement. So I have to use what I have to use. But anyway, I'm going to pick this up now. Try not to uh, take off any of the paint and show you what I got here. And I think that is really good. Um, it. Because if you look at the middle of a sunflower, they are really dark. Um, oh, shoot. See, there we go. Ah, didn't mess it up too much. Anyway, um, yeah, that's how I did it. Um, in the other video, I know I was um, sitting with the forward facing, which I think the video looked really good. But I think being over top of it might be a little bit better. That's why I bought the other camera, and I'm so upset. So I brought my old Alienware computer down here, and it has an issue with, I believe, the motherboard. But... Every now and then you get lucky and it'll turn on and it'll work for a year and then it'll stop working again. But I got it down here and so I could use that camera, hopefully, but no, no bones, no bones, no luck, um, all bones, I guess. But yeah, so hopefully I can, I guess I'm going to have to bring my laptop or my PC from upstairs down here and just take the laptop upstairs and use that one up there so anyway this is going to go on that picture um thank you for watching thank you for listening to me ramble on it's what i do best um yeah i hope you have a wonderful day thank you for watching me okay i'm actually going to do what i was supposed to do before i started blubbering about my life boo hoo hoo right um I'm going to mix these paints. Oh, not the yellow, but uh, maybe. This one might be dried up. It's old. I think it's dried up. What do you think? 
I have so many. It's ridiculous. Maybe this one. And then I want the red colored one. But I seem to have not put it back. Oh, there it is. Laying on the table. Alright, so this one. So, paintbrush. I have to have a, well I have a heater down here because the furnace isn't working and dang was it cold. But, um, I have to have something running because when you listen to my videos, uh, without anything in the background, that's why in some you'll hear music playing and I, I didn't realize how loud that music was until I rewatched the videos, but, um, I have this breathing problem that... I breathe in these spurts, like I hold my breath and I'll go <sighs> all the time, like all the time. It is so annoying. I hate that I do it. I've done it for years. Um, it was pointed out to me many years ago, actually, when I was working in a fiberglass uh, mold shop, pattern shop. Um, I worked with this little Mexican guy, just the funniest little guy you'll ever meet in your life, but he, uh, he didn't speak any English, so I learned a lot of Spanish from him. So now I got a splotch of white paint right there. But anyway, um, one time I get up from the mold and I look over at him and he's, he's chuckling and I'm like, what are you laughing about? And, uh, he goes, ah, ah, and I'm like, you asshole, oops, sorry about that, you jerk, uh, but anyway, it was pointed out to me then, but I didn't notice, I hadn't noticed that I was doing that, so, I don't know if it comes from, you know, being obese, or if it's, uh, I don't know, just a nervous habit, but I do it all the time. I get so aggravated when I listen to my videos and I, and I hear that, like, why didn't you hear that while you were doing it? Well, I don't notice it. I don't at all. Um, <coughs> I mean, it's not my fault. I mean, it's not your fault if you hear it and think it's funny because it, it, it kind of is. It's, Okay, so anyways, I realized I got too much black on this one. Uh, and it also got scratched up because I didn't wait till it was, uh, till it was dry yesterday. Before. Okay, so I had made a video yesterday that I ended up deleting it because I did a lot of crying, um, about things. And all I want to say is... If you have mental health issues, as soon as you realize that's what it is, get it taken care of. Um, you see how one is darker than the other? I think I'm just going to leave them that way. I think it's character. Well, what I'm going to do off camera, I'm going to mark this probably here down below these holes because the holes are character, right? So anyways, I'm going to make it even and then cut it off. Um, since I do have my saw now. The words need to be a little darker, I think. I'm not real sure what exactly I'm going to do. Uh, I think I am going to make another flower to put down below. Um, I'm not sure yet, but I like this. I wish I had, at the time I did it, I didn't have any wider boards. And I didn't have a saw yet, so, but I don't want to scrap this. I think it's great. So I'm going to finish this up at some point and um, put it at the end of my video, of course. Um, my flowers, I did put some more red in there. Um, I went to put some yellow to ease the red, which actually I still need to do because what happened was my video would not play. Um, or wouldn't 
what am I trying to say? My phone wouldn't record anymore because I had too many files on there. For some reason, my... Yeah, I let it set out. That dried up. But for some reason, my... My phone or my uh, computer isn't um, taking the, the videos off of my phone. So I had to go through all of my photos and videos and compare what was on my phone to what was on my computer to free up enough space, this one's just a little bit too red, to free up some space to, uh, so I'd know what to delete and whatnot. So that did take me a while. Uh, I went to the doctor yesterday and um, she's trying a completely new medication out on me that's not just for depression, but it's for bipolar disorder. Um, she says maybe the people who don't quite um, classify as bipolar but still have the, you know, some of the mood swings just on a, a lower, you know, there's, there's different levels of bipolar. But anyways, mine, without my medication, and I realized why I've drank my whole life was I have severe anger issues. And um, I don't. I don't want to yell at people, even if, you know, my husband says things that he shouldn't say or, you know, which I, I think is inappropriate, inappropriate. Um, I have to be able to control myself. So screaming at him is one of my lowest, is, you know, the lowest um, points in my life. I don't, I don't want to scream at people. I've raised my kids doing that. Um, you know, I didn't have medication back then. I I drank. And a picture, if you will, back in eh, probably 1995, Rodney was uh, two. Or no, wouldn't have been 95. It would have been 93, 94. Rodney was itty bitty. And, um, when my oldest son Sean would come in, he would get me aggravated on purpose. He, it was a, it was a little game he liked to play, and it was you know it's one of those codependent things you do. But he would get me all riled up, and I'd get mad and start yelling. And this one time was when I realized that you know my kids were affected by my yelling. Was little Rodney ran to the refrigerator, got me a beer, brought it back, and said, "Here you go, mom." And I was like, well, I didn't ask you for that. He goes, it's okay, Mom. Drink the beer, Mom. And that's when I was like, oh, yep, here we go. So even he knew that I was, you know, in his own innocent little way that, you know, I was self-medicating. And that I needed that beer to calm down. So, you know, if you if you have an issue, go get help. There's lots of medications out there for lots of different people you know and you say I don't want to be weighted down which is what my deal is right now I'm tired of feeling groggy so if you don't like how you feel go back and tell them you need something different you need help but not just what they want to do for you you need, I think I'm still going to leave those like that. A little bit darker on one side. So here's my um, sunflowers. I like them. I'm going to leave them the way that they are right now. So, um, yeah. So anyways, if you need help, get help. And if it's not the kind of help that you, you know, you thought it was going to be, um, ask for something different. You don't have to accept I had a doctor one time tell me, either take my advice or I'm not going to treat you at all because I didn't want to go on Seroquel. At the time, I listened to him, but you don't have to be bullied. There's plenty of doctors out there that, 
need your business and there's plenty of people that actually care. When I went to the doctor yesterday, it had been a while since I'd been there because I lost my job in August and um, I haven't been in there since probably September because I lost my insurance. You know, what do you do? So anyway, when I went in there yesterday, the nurse was so excited to see me and you know, you always think that people do pleasantries, you know, oh yeah, it's my job, I have to be, you know, caring and loving and whatnot, but she said, after, you know, after we talked and I explained to her what was going on about, you know, not being able to sleep, um, you know, the nightmares and the, you know, the post-traumatic stress disorder, and she knows my whole story from before. And when we were completely done, you know, she got my vitals and everything. She stood up and she just stood there for a second looking at me. And she said, Terry, I want you to know that I really care about you. And I said, you know what? I really appreciate that. And she said, she just stood there staring at me. And I said, I really do appreciate you. She said, no, I just really want you to know that I personally care so much for you she said you've been through so much and it breaks my heart but she said I want to help you she said I'm not just because it's my job she said I really do care for you and she said I know we're not supposed to do this but can I hug you please and I said yeah of course you know we both had masks on and whatnot so um she hugged me like I haven't been hugged in years she grabbed a hold of me and every time I went to release she hugged tighter and I needed that I really needed that I needed to hear that somebody really cared that doesn't have to you know I feel like my family feels like they have to care well you don't if you're my family and you don't care that's great you know that's great just separate yourself I don't I don't need anybody in my life that doesn't want to be here. But, you know, I'm, I want to say, my husband hugs me. You know, I, my kids hug me. I get the affection from them, and I, and I know it's a genuine love. I'm not trying to imply that it's not. But I, for someone who, you know, isn't a member of my family, to say those things and then hug me like that, it was really special. And if you can't find someone that hugs you like that, blessed video. I have no idea.